everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Guess what time it is? It's time for pick 10. Um, here's the journal we've been using. Uh, let's see. That was the last month, so we are on right here. Are we ready for this? I have to tell you guys, um, my muse has been on vacation, like, for the last three, four days. Maybe five days. And I'm sitting here today, I'm, I'm just trying to get the oomph, and I was like, you know what? No, it'll get me going, pick ten, so let's do it. All right, here we go, number one. Stars. Hmm. We're going to create some stars. So let's do it. Let's do it with, this is a charcoal pencil. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a good star maker, so I am going to grab. My stars look funky, so I have help in the form of shapes. So, and I'm pretty sure I have stars in here. Maybe, maybe not. There's a star. Do, 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 do. There's a little star. See it? There they are. So, we are going to put some stars down. Now, don't want to use this. What the heck? Let's do this. Let's use this to put some stars down. So how's everybody been? I hope really well. I hope you're having fun doing these pick tens. Now originally these started from uh, Shannon Pratt, which is the art junkie. And um, I'm not sure why, but for some reason we didn't end up doing them anymore. And I really enjoyed them, so I just kept doing them. And I figured I'd share, why not? I want just a little bitty flower or star. Just a little bitty one here. Color that one in. Ooh, it smudges. This is a peel and sketch charcoal. That's why it smudges. <laughs> Smudger? That's all right. You know what? We'll just play with what is, right? All right, so there's another star. All right, so we've added some stars. Yeah, um, these are all, um, they're all templates. Um, some of them you just get like at Michael's. Some of them are journaling genies. Some of these are from uh, scrapbooking days. And they're all just templates that have all different kinds of edges and borders and things. So I thought about getting rid of them, and I thought, no, and I'm glad I haven't because I use them every now and then. All right, so that's prompt number one. Let's see what number two is. Let's bring that there. Number two is use green. Huh, doesn't say green what. So, no, I don't want to use that. What are we going to use green? You know what? Got a bunch of Montana markers up here. Really want to use up. So let's use green. These markers are old. Um, I think I, my husband got these for me when he very first went down to Manhattan quite a while ago for um, his job. Thank God he's going to retire soon. So we're going to use green. So we used green, and you notice I'm, I'm starting out these pages really kind of slow because God only knows what we're going to pick in here. Next is use neon paints. Okay, neon paints. Here's some neon paints. These I got when I was down in um, North Carolina. 
and um, they were supposed to be opaque. That's what they say. And trust me, they are not. So we're just going to use some neon paints. Come on. Come on. Ugh. 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 So we're just going to play in neons. Why not? Right? Okay, there's a neon green. Let's use some yellow. Come on. Neon yellow. And I picked up a little bit of that charcoal, and that's okay. I don't care. Not a problem. All right. So we've got some neon colors on here. Do we want to do one more? What the heck? Let's go with blue. I don't want the pink, orange, or red. Let's go with the blue. Hopefully we don't need white space. If we do, we'll have to make some. All right? Let's just put the blue. Kind of like that. Do, 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 do. Blue. Kind of keeping out of the stars. I don't know why, just because. Why not? And then you go in the stars and then you get ookies and. I like this. Alright. So we've used neon paints. Right? Let's see what is next. Okay, so we have stars, use green, use neon paints, shake it up, turn it around, grab one, dots. Huh, it's funny, you know what? You notice these? These are all in green, green ink so far except for that one. Dots. We need to make some dots, huh? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to do regular dots, or big dots, or little dots, or let's do, let's do some orange dots. Hmm. Orange dots. And then we're just going to do dot, 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 dot. They don't look like dots, do they? Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. All right. Dots. Next. One, two, three, four. And we've got... That one's falling out. Oops. Oh, and we got to use string and twine. And we'll, this one's upside down. I don't know what that one is yet. So, string and twine. It's actually kind of cool because I just got some string when I was... Um, look at this. Isn't that interesting? It's just string with little flaggies put on it. Alright, so let's use some of this. Why not? Scissors. Alright, string and twine. So this is just string. Do we want to put it there? Do we want to put it there? Do we want to put it down the side? I think it's going to go right there. So what are we going to use to keep it down? Um, let's go with tacky glue. Famous old tacky glue. Tacky glue. Glue. These things are so fun to do, aren't they? Love it. Tacky glue. And more tacky glue. 
All right, so what I did, <laughs> I just kind of took string, string, kind of put it together, and there we go. We have string or twine. So there's my string. I don't think I want to put any more on here, so we're just going to stay with that. This one says a tag. We need to use a tag. Now, I have lots of tags here, but my dinner plate's in the way. And another project is in the way. All right, tags. So let's see. I have a whole bunch of tags in here marks all kinds of funky stuff but you know what I bought these on clearance the other day these might look cool on here let's see come on come out of there yes I threw it away I have too much packing I'm not keeping anymore all right so this has a there's two of them here right yeah All right, so here's a tag, and this is a tag. So we're going to make this tag really pretty, and we're actually going to, uh, let's see, we're going to take some more of this yellow paint, maybe, take a little bit of that yellow, put that on there, just a little bit. Just enough to tie it into the page. Come on. Squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze a whole bunch gonna come out. Alright, so let's do this. I just want to put some of the colors down that we already have. Come on. Ugh. That looks icky. Icky. Let's get some green. And I'm not going to do the blue because we already have a light, light blue or a teal. So I'm just using the other... Whoop, see, I knew it. I always do that. Okay, that's enough. Doo -doo. All right, I like it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect, especially not me. Whoops, see, I don't want that much. Okay, those tubes annoy me, just so you know. Let's get this off here. Do, 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 do. All right. So here's our tag. Our tag is going to sit right here. And this is going to go in it right here. But I am still going to use this. And just kind of put some of that yellow around it. Maybe a little bit of the charcoal, just because that's what happens to be coming off the thing right now. And we got to find something to put on this. So these are really cool. Boy, they have industrial strength sticky dots on them. Let's stick this one back here. All right. So we got to find something for the tag. Let's grab out. You know what? We're going to do handmade embellishments. I have a drawer here. And this is just um, stuff that I've made. Whether it be um, a pretty flower. Which I think will look perfect on this. So we're going to put a little washi, pretty flower, and then I guess we don't need all that. And let's see, washi. I've got a thing of washi here. Let's throw. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like this one better. Let's put this on it. Do I want that? Yeah. So we're building, we're building our tag. Come on. We're building our tag. Oops. I don't know, it just dawned on me. You know, I never do that. I always just cut it to the edge. I wonder why. It's one of those things that make me go, hmm. Makes you go, hmm. 
things that make you go, hmm. I'm gonna things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, I like that. We're gonna put this on here. Now, earlier today I was messing around with um, another project and <laughs> this tacky glue was really starting to bug me because I couldn't get anything out. So I cut the bottle down. And so now I'm trying to use this up today because if not, it's going to get hard as a rock on me. So I'm trying to use up this tacky glue. And this is just a um, deli stick, like for sandwiches, a pick, I guess you call it. All right, so there's a pretty flower. And then we're going to find, this says notes, but we're going to find... A really cool word out of the word drawer and see um, doo -doo, doo -doo. what's this one I made it oh, that's cool Um, I had somebody ask me recently where I got all my words and stuff from. And I have to tell you, everything I look at, I look at totally different now. Um, if it's an advertisement, I look at the words and say, hmm. Okay, like say, for example, this was uh, lemonade. Use a fresh twist of lemon, blah, blah, blah. And I cut out the fresh twist. Um, here we go. New year, new goals, new opportunities. This is probably some, who knows, insurance something or, let's see. Uh, we ones. I have no idea what that came out of. Just different uh, magazines. Give you some, oh, that's a time for tea, all about me. This is just stuff right here. How to live large in a small space. I mean, I just take out anything I can think. Here's another ad. There are times when you realize the English language can be woefully inadequate. That could be used for um, found poetry words out of there. Uh, here's another one. How to get the taste most people prefer on their cereal. Okay, there's a lot of words in there I could use. I may not use cereal, but, um, you know, get the taste or most people or whatever. So I just cut out anything. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. I cut out anything that looks like it might be good. Um, a whole newt world. I have no idea. That may end up being a background. Okay, here's another example. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of veering off here, but um, like I said, people had asked me. Okay, this is we're terrified of sharks thanks to the reputation as vicious killers. Shark attacks are rare but appear to be rising. There were a record 98, blah, 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 blah. And this is all about great whites and sharks. And I just, I cut this out because all it is to me is words. I'm not looking at, you know, we are terrified of sharks. I can, you know, I can, thanks to the rare um, worldwide reputation, notorious reputations, whatever, it doesn't matter, but um, not as scary as you may think. You know, just different things. I have no idea what that is. It looks like somebody's insides. Um, so anyways, this is where I find my words. Any Anything that is not <laughs> nailed down, I cut it up. Um, do what you love. You know, there's just... Tons and tons out there. Anyways, so I'm going to put this on here. This is I Made It. And I can tell you this came out of a magazine. And I would say this came out of like a woman's day or something like that. There's It. And I'm going to do I and Made separate. There we go. Look at that. I made it. Take our little tacky glue here. I give my little thingy here. So um, I think the whole point to that was, you know, look at everything differently. I look at all the flyers. I look at if I get a Sunday paper. I look at all the words, and everything just is different. I look at everything differently. So you don't have to go out and buy a certain magazine. You don't have to you know, subscribe just to this magazine to get the words. Look in anything and everything you get your hands on. All right, I made it. Now, the last thing this little tag needs for now 
is that's where that garbage or else I'll end up leaving it stuck on the paper. I want to blacken the edges because that's how we do. Actually, let me put these away. Stay there. And now, because that drawer is full, I can't. I won't let myself cut out any more words until some of those are used up. I need to take a black pen. I'm gonna move this aside for a minute. I'm gonna take a black pit pen. I'm just gonna go around the edges. A little bit darker on that one, that's okay. It's alright. Do 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 do. It's all good. Do 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 do. That's why I love doing these pick tens because they, they make you think outside the box or you don't. Actually, you know what? You don't really have to think. Let's put it that way. I'm just going to loosen that up a little bit. And I'm just going to. Keep going with the black. Make this a little bit thicker because I made the rest of it thicker. All right, so there's a pit pen. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of blacken in this a little bit. That's not really dry, so it's not doing too well. That's okay. This is not a masterpiece, it's just for fun. All right, so here is our tag. It says, I made it. And we're gonna stick that down using some double-sided tape. I love this stuff. I get this on Tuesday morning when it's in there on sale and I, um, I always buy all of it <laughs> because it's just really good tape. When it goes down, it's not coming up. So, all right, so let's take this off. Oops. Sticking to me. And we're going to put it right here. Just because we can. Oh, I stuck my thing to it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ta-da! A tag. All right. Do, 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 do. We are on one, two, three, four, five, number six. We have four more to go. Ready? We're gonna roll around, 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 and we're gonna pick right. How about this one? Just so a few spots. Hmm. You know. It doesn't say white gesso, does it? Ha ha ha. We're going to use black gesso. And I'm going to take gesso and I'm going to, I'm going to cover those up. Put this on my palette. Again, this is just a glass cutting board, I think is what it was, but I use it as a palette. All right, we're going to gesso spots. What are we going to put this on with? Let's take, let's take just a little bit of a credit card. Um, it's either a credit card or a key card or you never know. All right, and let's just... It just says gesso. Gesso in spots. It doesn't say where you have to gesso, does it? Nope. So we're using black gesso. I just got black gesso on that. And we're just going to play. I love playing these books. I I enjoy the freedom of it. You know, I, I it's just so much fun. If you have not done this yet, if you're afraid to, please, please, please grab your book and play. It's just there's so much fun. And there's okay, what happens if oh my gosh, that's a mess. Big deal, you turn the page, right? All this is is paper. That's it. Just plain old paper. So grab your book. 
If you don't have um, any popsicle sticks or tongue depressors or any kind of a wooden stick like this, so grab an old deck of cards. You can get a deck of cards in the dollar store. Grab a deck of cards and, you know, write some words on them, shuffle them up, and deal them out. There you go. You have your prompts, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got three more to go. Let's see. Next is... Start with a black background. That does not apply because we've already started, so I can't start with a black black pack. Black background. Let's try again. Feathers. Hmm. Okay. And you know what? I just happen to have. Looky here. A drawer that's got feathers in it. Um, and it's so funny because I never think to use feathers. Here's some doll parts too. I never think to use feathers. I wonder why that is. Feathers. So pretty. Isn't that pretty? So, let's use some feathers. How are we going to put our feathers down? Oops, I'm getting it in that gesso. Here, let's quick hit it. Hold on. Oh, we're going to, maybe if I can have my, we're going to quick hit the gesso. Don't go away, Feather. Alright, quick hit on the gesso. And guess what? Guess what's going to hold this down? A big old thing of tacky glue. I'm going to put that right here. Because I can. I think it's pretty. I want this one right here. Blue, talky blue. Hmm. I probably should put a little one on here, right? Yeah, we'll put this little one up by the big one. Oops. Hopefully I can get, you know, I've, I want to get a button to put on there because I want to hold those just the way they are. See, I didn't use... Aren't these cool? I gotta use these for something. Alright, I want a button there. I want a button right here. So let's grab a button. You know what? Let's do a wooden button. I have. Let's see. There's a bird. Let's put that bird right there. I don't know what this thing is. It's some kind of a funky bird. So he deserves to have these feathers, doesn't he? Look at him, he's a funky bird. I don't know what he is. He's going to sit right there. And... I'm looking, I'm looking. This little bag of goodies was sent to me. I believe by Lindy. Coffee cup. How about a butterfly? Let's put this butterfly up here. I know it says to use feathers, but we're using butterflies. All right. So there's our bird and our feathers. What is next? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two more. Let's put the feathers back. Two more. Ready? What about this one? Ribbon. And that one we're not going to do because that one came out. Ribbon. We need to add some ribbon. Well, guess what? I happen to have some really cool ribbon right here. You know what? We're going to Piece here. 
do 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 do. Going to put a piece here. Maybe here. So there's two pieces. Let's do one more. Let's put a small one up here. All right, so we got our ribbon. Let's take and glue it down. I wish my dang chair would stop squeaking. Oh, that looks kind of neat on that side. I like this side better, though. So I know I'm talking to myself. Sorry, guys. Okay, here's one. So far, I'm liking this page. This page is actually pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's take this one. Two. I have a kitty cat hair. Two. Actually, I don't think it was a cat hair. I think it was a feather hair. Is there such a thing as a feather hair? Oh. There we go. Ribbon! Three, six, nine. Okay, let's see what our last deal is. These two can go back in there. All right, here we go. Do them around. I don't know. Let's take this one. Tip it in. Oh, a tip in. Hmm. This one I gotta think on. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I made this. Um, oh gosh, for my year back when we were doing Buster, leave that alone. Um, take trash and uh, make it pretty and this is just an old tissue box with some jelly printing on it and just a piece of paper now I'm sitting here thinking now I've already got my feathers and tags down here so really the only spot I've got is this so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this here but before I do I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do some journaling on this just because I can and I'm going to take some of my I'm going to try to find the handmade flowers like I have on here. I'm pretty sure I have some. Got to figure out where they are. Oh, these are cool. Maybe I'll use one of these. I'll use the stamps. Remember these stamps we did a couple months ago? I like that. Let's put that right there. Does this one work better? Let's see. Oh, that's kind of cool. My buster is standing here beside me. I don't know if you guys can see his little black paw coming up. He's, he wants, he's in the mood for passion. He's so funny. Yeah, I think we're going to put this. Remember these stamps? I did these as a um, challenge, I think, last month. So I want to take off this contact paper and have it stick. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Nope. Remember, I glued it on the contact paper. All right, anyways, I'm going to glue that on there. Um, let me go ahead and do my journaling in my little tip out here. And I will be right back and we'll decorate this and get it stuck down in the book. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, so what I did, I did do some journaling in here. Okay, and basically it talks about um, how I really enjoy doing these pick tens because it gives you, you know, it tells you what to do, but it also gives you a freedom that, you know, you wouldn't think to just stick you know, some feathers on it, a tag. You know what I'm saying? It gives you a guide, but it also gives you freedom. And how come I don't have ten? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, here's the other one. Ten. Phew, scare me there for a minute. All right, so um, I put the stamp on the front of this. I put one of my stars, or one of my flowers, I mean. And I'm just going to put it right here. And what it's going to do is tip out this way with my journaling. How do you like that? 
So there we go. We have a pick 10 that is just full of goodies. Goodness, I'm not sure I like this thing here. I'm going to cut this off. I don't like it. It's in my way. Oops, now there's a white spot, but that's all right. There we go. That's butter. So I'm going to leave my tag here, my twine, my tip in, all of it. All right. I hope you guys have had fun watching. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with these prompts. Um, that's very cool, very fun to do. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a great day. All right. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.